Hi, hello. So um, today I want to show you how you can use your Power Tool agent as a chatbot that you can actually add to your Microsoft Teams to help your employees, to help your customers, to interact with whatever you have there. Like my example here is about a help desk. So I want to now add my Power Tool agent as a chatbot so that any employee is going to be able to actually post questions to the chatbot. So to do that, first step, once you create your chatbot, once you created the conversations and so on, and the whole logic behind obviously, you have to publish it, right? So the first step is to publish your bot, at least once, nice. So it's publishing. The second step, once it is published, is that you have to go to this channels area, and then you have to hit the Microsoft Teams tile. And right here in the Microsoft Teams, you need to click the add button first. And now Microsoft Teams is actually uh, being, I mean, the Power Virtual Agent is being added to Microsoft Teams. Right, so now this app ID, it will be used later. Right, let's leave it here right now. Now the second step is the configuration of the Power Virtual Agent as a bot in Microsoft Teams. So being here, first thing to check is if you actually have the, um, the permissions to do that. So if you're not the tenant admin, ask people who are and go to Teams, admin Teams Microsoft Com and check what is the configuration of the permissions for the company-wide settings. Right, so now I'm in admin and I need to go to Teams and then to permission policies right here to global and if your configuration is not saying for the third party apps allow all apps then you won't be able to sideload your power virtual agent as a chatbot if you would like to choose this one so allow specific apps and block all others well actually that is not the case here because it only allows you to pick the apps that exist in your store and because Parvital Agent is not an app that actually is a standalone application that is present in store. There is no way you can select it here. So the configuration that you have to have is to allow all apps. Right. So once you confirm that with your uh, tenant admin or with yourself, go back to Teams. Second thing that you have to actually have is the App Studio. If you don't have an App Studio installed, go to More Apps type app studio and then hit the tile app studio and if you don't have it you will have here an icon add the button add right now i'm just going to open it right next step go to manifest editor and create a new app first tip is to fill in all this required information so Then generate, uh, we use this name like help desk app bot version 1.0. This is just, ouch, this is just a sample chatbot. Start conversation by typing. So that's that simple. Now the developer information, you just have to fill it in, type in whatever you want. I'll just use uh, my credit, my data. Uh, here and there. Next, the next thing is that you have to use this branding. However, uh, for the site loaded chatbot application in Teams, this won't be actually reflected. So um, the icon, uh, the accent color, these features are, un are unfortunately not supported, but hey, we can use them anyway. So I'll just put here the chatbot icon and I'll also use this icon for second transparent outline and I'll pick the accent color. So that would be pretty cool, but it's still not working. Next thing, go to bots. 
area and actually set up your bot. So in here, we don't actually want to set up a bot, a new bot, we want to use an existing bot. And this is the place where you have to copy paste this app ID from here. So I copy it, now paste it here. Now what documentation of um, Parvital Agent Integration with Teams is saying is that right now, the only supported scope is personal. However, I tried with the team scope as well and I was working fine. So I'll go for this as well. Right, so now we have the bot configured. Now, the, ne the next thing we have to configure is the domains and permissions. Now, according to the documentation, the only valid domain that we have to configure here or provide here is the token botframer.com. Okay, so add it. And last thing, obviously, is to install the bot to your Teams. So here you have two options. I mean, it depends on which scopes you've selected. Because I've selected two, so um, the channel and the private communication conversation, I have the two options. So I'll start with the add, so that will uh, install my bot to my chat area. Now, once it's installed, because I have been talking with my bot previously, then I uninstalled it and then I installed it again. And therefore, the whole communication conversation is still here, but it doesn't matter. So right now it's installed and let me just talk with them. So uh, I need help with my device. And right now you can see that the bot is typing is asking me uh, the questions. I'm not logged in. If I was not logged in, then um, definitely I would be prompted with a, with a login window like I've been, like been asked here. So to continue, I had to log in. Right now I'm logged in because I tried the same conversation just a minute ago. So now I'll just ask a question. My battery is dead. And now what you already know from my um, soft, from my um, presentations, this is just a chatbot that first is querying Q&A database. And if there is no obviously uh, matching answer, then it's doing something else. So I'll just type in that it's hardware issue. And right now it will try to query the, the Q&A database. So, yep. And in a while, there is an answer from Q&A if there is anything matching. Yeah, luckily there is a Q&A answer. So yeah, it did help me. And finally, yes, I just can end up the conversation with my bot. So it will just stay low and, and, and quiet. And my experience is like five. Very well. So this is, this is how easily you can actually configure your PowerVTL agent to be, uh, to be a chatbot available for your, cust for your employees inside your Microsoft Teams. That's really, really simple. Now, if you would like to uninstall it, then obviously just go to this uh, ellipsis icon and then hit the bot and then uninstall, right? That will remove. And other thing, the last thing that you have to do if you want to really remove your bot to be unavailable for your users is again go to the channels area channels are hidden here under the manage then hit the microsoft teams style and hit the button delete so that will re remove your chatbot part or agent from your microsoft teams um, it takes a little couple of minutes to, to actually to actually work, but really it does. So that's the way to uninstall your Parvital agent. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, reach me out on my Twitter or uh, or via the contact form on my on my blog site. Thank you. Bye.